Mr. President? I just wanted you to know you were loved and by so many and so much. Oh, I'm one of them. I tried. I didn't dare bother you again, but I got Kenny O'Donnell over here to give you a message. If he ever saw you, did he give it to you yet? No. About my letter no. that, that was waiting for me last night? Listen, sweetie, now, first thing you got on it, you got some things to learn. And one of them is that you don't bother me. You give me strength. But I wasn't going to send you in one more letter. I was Don't send me anything. Answer. Don't send me anything. You just come over and put your arm around me. That's all you do. When you haven't got anything else to do, let's take a walk. Let's walk around the backyard. And uh, uh, just let me, let me tell you how much you, you mean to all of us and how we can carry on if you give us a little space. you know what I want to say to you about that letter? I know how rare a letter is in the president's handwriting. Do you know that I've got more in... Your handwriting than I do in Jack now. No, what, uh, and for you to write it at this time and then to send me that thing today of, you know, your tape announcement and everything. I want you to just know this, that I told my mama a long time ago, when everybody else gave up about my election in 48, yeah. my mother and my wife and my sisters and you females got a lot of courage that we men don't have. And so we have to rely on you and depend on you, and you've got something to do. Uh, you got the president relying on you, and this is not the first thing you have. So, so there are not many women, you know, running around with a good many presidents. So you just, uh, you just bear that in mind. You got the biggest job of your life. He ran around with two presidents. That's what they say about me. <laughs> okay, anytime. Well, goodbye, Thank you for bye. calling, Mr. President. Bye. Goodbye. Do come back. I will.